Hello, welcome back to part 4 of Among Us and Scratch. Let's get started. But first, if you haven't already seen parts 1 through 3, go ahead and click the cards up there, or the links are in the description, and then come right back to this one. Okay, so, this episode, we are going to add an actual task for this puppy. So, what this will do is go ahead and paint a new sprite, go to square tool, you get a lightish dark gray without an outline and hold shift to make it a perfect square okay and this will be for the garbage looks then also make a darker one then put it inside of that like this and then copy that light one and then just put it right on top then make it go to back layer but right in front of that gray one okay so now make some more squares and this will be the actual garbage. And this is going to be like a little mini animation for when you do the task. So brown, if I just like make some sh shape. And you can do this however you want. You can follow along with me or you could do whatever you want here. And also comment the links to these projects that you've made using this tutorial below. And I will check them out and give you a shout out. So just keep adding these make them perfect squares you can make them imperfect squares like I'm doing you can make them whatever you want and then once you get all those that you want it is time to animate it so duplicate that costume and then just make it each of these like go back a little bit but you are also going to want to make this go to front I mean, back, so that, and then make a dark one, another dark square, so that it actually um, allows it to go behind and not just in front of. So here, then backwards, forwards, 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 good, and then you can just add an outline if you want. I'll actually do that. So here, if I duplicate this now, then I give this an outline using the outline tool. Make it black. Make it thick. Let's say 75. And then do the same over here. So that's the same. Okay, good. And now you're going to want to actually animate it. So this will be going downwards, and downwards. And each time, just make them go down a little bit. If you want to make it look even better, you can actually make another rectangle down at the very bottom. So that it actually looks like they're going underneath it. Yes, they are. And then you're going to want to make a couple costumes of this to make it look good and smooth. This would be nothing near the um, actual Among Us game yet. And in future episodes, we're actually going to make it online cloud multiplayer so be sure to like the video subscribe for a next for another part and also comment baked apples to get a shout out in the next video but once we get all these you can go ahead and delete them once they get too low like that and then eventually you should have tons of these costumes and it'll end up looking pretty convincing and then the final one, it'll just be blank, so delete the rest of these. Okay, good. So now, it's time to add some code. So, when green flag clicked, hide, go to zero, zero, and then switch costume to the first costume. And then, when I receive, make a new message, call it start, trash task and then when I receive start trash task show go to front layer and then wait until make a new variable call it lover flip make it for all sprites then also set that to zero when green flag is clicked and then in this block wait until Love reflect equals one. 
which means it will wait until we flip the lever to empty the garbage. Okay, so, and then once it does that, repeat, and then the amount of costumes that you have. So I have seven, so the amount of costumes you have minus one. So I'll repeat six times. And what we'll be repeating is waiting 0 0.1 seconds, or 0 0.3 seconds, or whatever you want, and then switching to the next costume. So that's what it will look like when that happens. But we actually don't need to subtract the ones. Sorry, my bad. So then, boom. That will be good once you switch it to that. But yeah, so. And then it will broadcast into trash, trash task. And then it's going to hide itself. Okay, so now inside of this sprite, the one that has the task menu bar, if it contains that, if task tasks contains trash, then it will be if touching sprite one, which is the hitbox, and then inside of that, add another if, if key space pressed, then broadcast start trash task, and then hide itself. So now, if we go and we run it, going up to here, if we press space, that will appear. But the Among Us person is right there, and that is not good. So, go ahead and inside of this, the not the hitbox, but the other one, when I receive start trash task, hide, and then when I receive end trash task, show. So now, this should be fixed. But we still need the lever. So, we go. But this also needs to go there. So, make sure that you have it all working. And then boom. But this actually, you need to make sure that when green flag clicked, it shows itself. Or else it will break each time you run it. So, yes. But the next thing we are going to do is add the lever so you can actually flick it. So paint a new sprite, make some rectangles, make them gray. And let's just do it like that, that, actually just copy that one that you already made. And then right there, rotate it 90 degrees, make it a bit thicker. And then, good. And then, if you group this like that, then you can put it right there so it's centered there. And then, yeah, you can actually, I'm going to make this a bit darker. Just that part, though. Okay, good. So now, when green flag clicked, it's going to go to wherever you put it, and then it's going to hide and point in direction zero, I'm pretty sure. Now if we show it, we'll be able to see if it's correct. No, so point in direction 90. So now if we point in direction 90, boom. So now, when I receive start trash task, show, and then go to front layer, and then repeat until and mouse down and touching mouse pointer, which means when it's clicked. Then once it's clicked, it will point in direction 180, which is downwards. And then it will set lever flicked to 1. So now if we run that. You will also need to show this Among Us guy once again at the beginning, just like the other one so that he actually shows. Then when you go up to here, click it, click that. It'll go that way, but the reason that's happening is because we didn't 
and we pointed him in this direction, what happens is this. So when you actually do that, it'll go all around. So if you flip it vertically, not vertically, if you just take it and then you rotate it 90 degrees sideways, that will fix your problem. Because what you'll be able to do is, if we show it, just adjust its positioning. What we can do is point in direction zero. But once again, set so rotation style to all around. Once it's in direction zero, you can put it there. 168, 30. And then point in direction zero. Boom. And then Then, when we run this, it should be working. So, yes. Let's just test this out real quick. Ah. So, fix that. Simply flip this guy back around. Make it all normal. Then duplicate this, and then just make it so that it's upside down. And then boom, but you still will want to point in direction 90 at the beginning. And then there. So now, if we run this, it will actually be working because it's touching. So then we can do that. Oh, yes. Once again, switch its costume to costume one here. And then once it's clipped, switch it to costume two. Good, good. Now if we go we walk up there for the like final time. He's there. Click it. Goes down. And then, it will hide once it gets there. So, yes, thank you guys for watching. Comment down below the URLs of the project that you made using this code. And then, you'll get a shout out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.